So this is how the New England Patriots die. Very weird season for them. Also, sorry if my voice is a bit weird. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. But again, so got to get the content out on the final uh, week of the season. What a weird game, right? And a weird season for the Patriots. A lot of interesting stuff to happen. I want to talk about, you know, what they did right in this game, what they did wrong in this game, and why they ultimately lost and will not be competing uh, for the Lombardi Trophy, so let's just get into it. Let's start off with this play. So what's going to happen here is, it, you know, I thought that really, I did think that the Patriots, they played well to start the game. Okay, well, not literally to start the game. The first play wasn't so good, but they did do some nice things, I thought. Mac Jones was completing passes, stuff like this, where it's going to be a play action, and it's actually a play action against man coverage, which often isn't as effective as, you know, if you're playing man coverage, whether it's a run or a pass, you're covering your guy. You're not focused on the halfback. So when Jones takes the snap, the play action, you know, might give you a little bit of extra time. So there's still, there's obviously still benefits to a play action, even if it's in man, uh, you know, and it can still get other players out of position that maybe were supposed to be, you know, if there's a linebacker supposed to cover in the middle of the field, he can get out of position, all that good stuff. But as you can see, New England's going to get a receiver open right here. And that's just what they needed is, right, is to get these one-on-one -on -one matchups won. That's something they've really struggled with this season at times is just winning one-on-one -on -one matchups. Well, this time they're winning a one-on-one -on -one matchup. As you see, a very accurate throw, and they're able to pick up a you know decent chunk play right there. So, again, this kind of stuff is something that we were you know, hoping to see from New England. And early on, we were seeing it. If it wasn't for a couple, uh, you know, kickoff return touchdowns, this, you know, would have been kind of all New England potentially early on. Like they were running the ball effectively, something like this where, you know, they're going to pull a guard uh, over from the offense's right to the offense's left. Watch as one day do that. He is able to pull off that block to get Stevenson to this spot where you see, look at how big of a running lane there is for Stevenson. Stevenson does a great job in open space to pick up a ton of yards, but again, just good blocking up front, good running. So you're thinking, hey, this is going great for uh for the Patriots and you know there was even some other stuff that went well for them like heading over here this was a you know not a great play by uh Josh Allen I think it's fair to say but it's also set up nicely by the Patriots defense it was very opportunistic even you know in this game they had some crucial plays and this is going to be one of them where it's a uh cover one blitz so five-man rush, but they're doing something a little bit creative here, which is what Belichick loves to do. Belichick doesn't just rush five guys. He likes to move them around, run some stunts, run some twists. Judon's going to do that, where Judon's, uh, he's setting up as though he's an edge rusher, but he's going to, you know, uh, move over and kind of go towards the middle, and that's going to work out really well. Look at how, as he does that, uh, I'm going to pause it at a certain point right here. He's about to create contact on Allen, and I have to be honest, I think this is a mistake by Josh Allen. I do. Um, I think a lot of people, when they see a quarterback throw an interception because they're hit as they're thrown, will say, hey, it was pressure, just kind of an, unfor an unfortunate break, and there's something to that, but I feel like on a third down and 10 right here, you're inside field goal range, and you're in a position right now where you can see the pressure is coming in front of you, and you knew it was a blitz, right? And you probably knew there was a stunt coming because it's Bill Belichick. He does that all the time. So because of all that stuff, I also don't think there's anything open down the field anyway. So to me, this is a mistake. I, I, I kind of get it if there's someone wide open down the field. I don't think there is. I think this is a mistake from Allen. As you see, Allen decides to make the throw anyways, and then obviously the reason for the poor throw was because it was hit, but he kind of, he sh I think he should have been able to tell that the contact was coming there. Uh, I would put that one on Allen as a bad play. I would, uh, and you know, again, that's taking points off the board. But we then saw some just missed opportunities from the Patriots, and this is what turned it from the Patriots had a you know real chance, I thought, to uh, go up big here in the third quarter, and obviously the opposite would happen. They had a chance to potentially be up even, you know, at least a score at the end of the third quarter. Instead, they ended up being down, you know, they were down 11 points by the end of the third quarter, uh, what ended up happening. But uh, right here, what's going to happen is it's a, you know, uh, zone coverage play. You see how this route can work, right? Could get into a gap in coverage. And this, to me, feels like Mac Jones just made his decision before he even uh, saw before he even saw what happened. He says on paper this should work, so I'm just going to make this throw. Look at how when Jones runs a quick play action, he looks over, and to be honest, I kind of get it. I mean, it is a 50-50 shot, so taking this shot 
it's something you could do. And Tredavious White is someone who is, you know, obviously uh, an incredible player, but he hasn't played incredible since coming back from the injury. So while typically he's not the kind of guy you try in this situation, I think Jones is maybe thinking, well, let's try him because, you know, uh, he hasn't played like we typically expect him to play. But on this play, he's going to look like a perfect Tredavious White as he sort of boxes out uh, his, you know, his guy. He's able to get over and he's able to get that interception. Just a, a really impressive play by Tredavious White. And, uh, you know, him being able to do that kind of thing was obviously huge as you're thinking, OK, well, that could be the dagger for the Patriots. But then there was a turnover almost immediately after that. So, OK, you missed an opportunity, but you get the opportunity right back. But then this would happen. So this is going to be on a second down and eight play. It's a man coverage play this time. And the idea is to get the ball to the halfback. That's what they want to do here, which, you know, makes some sense. These types of routes can absolutely work in this situation. Watch as Jones takes the snap and you're going to see that right here. There's a window for this to be open and really you got to make this throw. One thing I want to kind of point out is you look at Mac Jones and how he's going to throw this. Uh, you know, there's no pressure whatsoever, but he's still going to throw this one awkwardly watch him kind of throw it off his back foot and then ends up being uh, underthrown uh, so much so in fact that it almost turned into a pass interference penalty kind of one of those to me you could call if you wanted to I, I get both sides they ended up not calling it but you can't expect you know to get bailed out with a pass interference penalty if that one was further down the field that is a touchdown that's a missed throw they did not convert on the third and only got three points out of those two great situations new england did start to get their groove going offensively and it seemed like the bills counterattack to that was let's just start throwing touchdowns like it seemed like that was a conscious effort to just say hey let's just throw the ball in the end zone for touchdowns that's a good idea right this one which uh you know uh i believe nance on the broadcast it might have been tony romo who set called it one of the best touchdowns you'll see all year and it was i don't disagree a great throw from Allen. it's a cover three zone that new england is in but you see how this route where it's kind of uh Starts as though it's going to be an out route, but then uh, ends up being a deep route. That can kind of create a one-on-one -on -one matchup, get the corner to maybe even take a step in. You can potentially get past him. That's how this, you hope this play works. Allen's going to take the snap here. The offensive line's going to do an incredible job blocking. Uh, so, you know, he gets some time before uh, eventually there is pressure and he has to make the throw. And really, the story behind this play is just where he's at. He's at his own 40-yard line close to the hash marks on the bottom half of the screen. Watch him throw the ball all the way over towards the sideline, uh, you know, right next to the end zone marker. I mean, this is a 60-yard throw down the field, but even further because he had to get it towards the side as well. So over 60 yards with pinpoint accuracy. I mean, that's just one of those, like, you can blame the Patriots if you want to, but, I mean, that's, that's just an, an incredible throw by Allen. So, yeah, I mean, listen, kind of a weird... Uh, game like I said very bizarre but at the end of the day uh well you can sit here and say if it wasn't for the two kickoff return touchdowns it's probably a different game that's probably true but at the same time uh they had their opportunities and they weren't able to convert and you know Buffalo made some great plays it, the reality is I don't think this is the game you look back on if you're a Patriots fan I think you look back on the Raiders and the Bengals game and say man we really should have won one of those games uh but you know that's football uh, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.